Hello, it's your host, KBG. Don't forget to subscribe, uptick that rumble button. Don't forget to check out the great things in the description down below. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Tuesday's Modern Stack Tack. Today, we have a spicy-ish brew for you guys today. Um, we're we're going to try a Myria Titan in the current modern meta. It used to be a big... I don't want to say it used to be a big deck in the format, but it used to be a semi-competitive list. And it died, kind of, uh, when Modern Horizons crept up the pool. And then, of course, the format just became overly fast. And Emery, the Sky Ruin, kind of fell to the wayside. So let's see if it actually could even compete in the modern meta these days. Um, so we are playing Emery Titan, a Myria Titan. So of course we have four Primeval Titans. We also have four Sun Titans because I want to just, I just want to play Titans. I don't care which one it is. I like them all. Uh, we have four pr Prismatic Endings, one Corsair Crew Fix, two Day Judgments, four Search for Tomorrows, two Dryad of the Elves and Groves. Um, turn all of our stuff into planes. Which is really important. We have one Rampant Out Excavator, which we have some, you know, ghost quarters in the man mana base. So that's pretty it's pretty relevant. Omen of the Hunt. Two Ralliers. Two farm hands to get more planes. We have a Kaliar <coughs> Our Expedition to get to ramp us. Four tribe elders. Four wall of omens. And then mana base wise, we have four temple gardens. Six planes, one forest, one canopy vista. <laughs> then we have a triome <coughs> to allow our prismatic endings to hit three drops. And then we have a field of ruin and ghost quarter that we can <coughs> keep reusing with the um, Ramanop. And we have our course, our names, a card for our Myria's sideboard wise. We have two deafening clarions against. Um, combo with decks. <coughs> we also have a Soul Guy Lantern for Graveyard Hate. Uh, Lone Missionary, missionary for uh, Life Gain against <coughs> Burn. It trades in the early game. <coughs> and we can keep rebringing it back with Sun Titan, which is kind of nice. We have two Damping Spheres, two for Tron, um, two Sanctifier and Vex, four Dragon Rage Chandler. <coughs> we have Knight of Autumn, two of for a little bit of life gain um, that comes back with Sun Titan, and it could show an artifact and enchantment, <coughs> or just a reasonable body. We have two Endurance for Graveyard Hate, in addition to the Soul Guy Lanterns. Then we have another Day of Judgment. If we face a very aggro-centric deck, we might want to just wrap the board more often. So, <laughs> no further ado, let's see this deck in action. Alright, on to match one, game one, with Emery Titan. So, we'll try this. We have a turn two play. We have a turn one. Get Triome, so that's okay. Um, see if it's fast enough. Uh, plane, so it's probably. Oh, that's actually a little bit better. Pass the turn. I'm gonna say this is probably hammer time, but I would have thought he would have led with a land or played something on turn one. No, it's angels. Crack it. <coughs> Grab the triome. Pass the tur. Untap. Okay, play the planes. Try Builder. Pass the turn. That ramps us into the Titan, which you can get us the Emery. The Emeria. Um which is pretty nice. See if it's good enough to win against Angels. Oh, I didn't even know there was a, yeah. I didn't even know there was an Angel Land. 
guess the more you know. <laughs> the Mono White Angels for the opponent. Uh, well. I guess we need a prismatic ending this turn. Get rid of the bigger angel, I guess. Uh, uh, we will yield, I guess, until our turn. Are the end step. So we can crack this tri builder. We'll grab another planes. Um, since we don't have a uh <coughs> Since we don't have a way to make all of our lands a planes, it makes sense to keep progressing. Search for tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Cast okay, search for tomorrow. Grab a planes. Temple garden. Untapped, green, white, prismatic ending. <clears throat> Pass the turn. That's not a bad turn. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So Titans inbound next turn, which gives us Emery, uh, Emeria next turn. So oh, the turn after we might be able to start reoccurring this Skurd Tribe Elder, which is kind of sweet. We will see. <clears throat> Can this deck compete? I'm gonna. I I originally had my uh, you know, my uh walls up because I didn't think I don't know. It's an older strategy that I don't I don't know if it's actually applicable to modern these days. But against Angels, I don't know. I feel like that's not a bad deck to be playing. <coughs> okay, green. Green. Prime time. <laughs> we do need to do something fast. Um, seven or more. Past the turn. So now we really want to draw a Sun Titan, I think. Or do we have any way <coughs> of combatant flyers? He has dealt some damage to us, that's for sure. Now, the one problem with this build versus normal Titan builds is, of course, Valka is not in the actual deck, so. It is much trickier for Titan to actually be overly pa um, oppressive. <clears throat> I mean, get, pushing us to getting an extra creature per turn isn't necessarily, you know, overpowered. Um, so we're taking six. Yeah. Which means he has lethal. Yes. Sun Titan. Crack it. Grab another planes, I guess. Hmm. I need to draw something. I need a... I guess prismatic ending? That's not. Oh, yeah, yeah. I... 
And that is one of the big problems why this deck is just probably not as good as normal Titan builds, but me being me, I have to play a Titan, so. Yes. We will grab Amiria, I guess Amiria. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing we could do here. <laughs> we just can't deal with the flyers. Yeah. Uh, wow, I thought this would be this is gonna be a very easy matchup, but wow. So we will definitely bring in that. Against some flyers, we probably want some little missionary. Just for a little bit of life gain over maybe a farmhand. <clears throat> we can maybe go down an omen of the hunt. We could probably go up these nine of autumns. Go down an omen of the hunt. Uh, that guy. I think that's reasonable. We have a little bit more interaction, a little bit more sweepers, a little bit more life gain to allow us to stay alive longer. Um, which Titans should take over the game. Um, yeah, we will try this. I mean, we have a sweeper. <clears throat> I want to be able to play the search turn one, but then Wall of Omens gets missed next turn. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass the turn. It's like, you, which one do you pick? Wall of Omens or search for tomorrow? I think Wall of Omens is better because it gets me into more lands. <clears throat> Naturally top decking. If all else fails, I can cast this for three. Um... Hey, windswept teeth. That's not too shabby. That means we can get this rallier is ramp spell now, which is pretty good actually. So, <coughs> trying to think how this works out. So we we play the the windswept teeth. Crack it. Grab a temple garden untapped. Down to eighteen. Play this. Get back windswept teeth. Hmm. Or is it incorrect to do that? So my other option is I Temple Garden untapped. Search. Get to four mana so I could Day of Judgment. And then rally your post Day of Judgment. I think that makes more sense. Um, if all else fails, he could actually help in the damage uh, part of the game put a clock on our opponent we can definitely grab a planes this means we get day of judgment <clears throat> i think that's probably the correct play let's see how this pans out though i mean we have some fatties in this deck so if you're a timmy player this is probably your video <laughs> Because, you know, I am a Timmy player. <laughs> and I like dinosaurs, of course. And if you like dinosaurs, I am starting, trying to start a special, weekly special, <coughs> potentially weekly special, 
um, where I play, it's called Carnage Thursday, so I can play dinosaurs in any format. I just pick up a deck that I want to play and, you know, just smash them face with some dinosaurs. So I definitely think I have to wrath this turn. Which actually, we drew a land, so that's actually not too bad, right? That means we can wrath. <clears throat> Pass the turn, and then next turn, oh my, well, well, we could just, we could Sun Titan. Hmm. I think I want a Sun Titan. One, two, three, four, five. So I have six. <clears throat> I also could just Primeval Titan. Start the Emeria train going. There is so many possibilities. Yeah, I figured we get this one. I mean, as soon as we could wrap the board, it's over. I mean, what is Angel's gonna do? I could, I guess I could bring an Endurance. Hmm. Over a Courser. Crap. I was like, I just thought about it. Like, yeah, legitimately I could bring in Courser, which um or bring in um that which let me handle There's no Wrath in this hand. But I do have a Knight of Autumn, I guess, to gain some life. <clears throat> Alright, we'll try it. We will play the <coughs> older looking Winslap Teeth Onslaught. Now, just for the record, the I rented three Winslap Teeth, and this one's mine, the cons. So that's why they that's why they're mismatched. So <coughs> I don't think you get to pick what version of the card you rent from Mana Traders. Another Titan. Crack the windswept teeth. Should have done this on their turn, but that's okay. We got this. We got this. So now we have a prismatic ending. We have a temple garden. And we have a plane. So we have our three colored sources. <clears throat> I really wish we drew something other than a Sun Titan. Because let's be real here, Sun Titan's not that great right here. I mean, a six drop. Rest in peace to get rid of our sweet act interaction. Interesting. <coughs> so this is tricky. Um, I can't prismatic ending this. I don't think I want to, though. I guess I just go ahead and planes pass. Because I was thinking about, like, do I really even would want to prismatic ending the rest in peace? I'm probably just going to Knight of Autumn and destroy it. Um, but now I guess you also could ask questions. Is Ether Vial worth it? Uh, I don't know. Let's see how many lands he, okay, he's playing land. So clearly he has, yep, he has action and he has land. So there's a good chance that, I mean, he might not have, I guess he might have another, one other threat in the land in hand, maybe? I don't know. But... <coughs> Okay, so green, white, white. Pass the turn. So what I like about this is we could definitely, we want Nine of Autumn to die, right? So that way we could bring it back with Sun Titan. We are all about that late game. If we can get 
the first match, that would be really impressive. So we can at least push a 1-2, a 2-3, or a 2-1. I don't know. I highly doubt we're going to go 3-0 in this deck. Uh, it's definitely not out of that caliber of a deck. I don't think. Could be clearly wrong, but I don't think so. But he's gaining himself some life. He has no cards in hand, and he hits us for two. Two, three. So, I'm trying to remember, does it come off this turn? So we go to... F yep, so it comes out this turn. Grab a planes. <coughs> okay. Uh, windswept teeth. Crack the windswept teeth. Grab a temple garden. I guess I could have got the vista. That that is definitely a possibility. Prismatic ending. Cancel. The untap sword. The untap one. That way I can maybe bait him into trading with this angel. Probably reasonable. And then we will just wall of omens. Draw a card. Two, three, four, five, six. So we have Sun Titan next turn. We will attempt to attack you. Do you trade with your angel? He does not. You pass the turn. So next turn. We got nothing going on. Uh, we have a Sun Titan dropping, but that's about it. Um, Sun Titan is definitely not on the, probably the same caliber as Primeval Titan, even in this deck, which is not the best, right? <laughs> um, it's kind of sad, actually. The Sun Titan getting a, a Myria, a Myria gets two creatures back in a given turn versus you know, just a single card when it attacks. It's like, eh. The Sun Titan comes down and he scoops it up. He's done. Next turn, we definitely would have gotten Lone Missionary. So that way we can gain some life. Try to stabilize a little bit. But yeah, on to the next two game one. Guess we try this. I'm not really a fan of the speed of this hand though, to be honest. Um, I do like the rally your plus wind swept teeth. Do I hopefully we draw something? Oh my god, it's Rod. Ra it's Ragavad. Play wind swept teeth. Go. Yeah. So. So this is probably Murktide. Uh, Murktide. He's like, ah, I'm definitely not casting that. We, I do got to admit, we have a lot of fatties. We have eight in total. So, there's a good chance he might whiff completely with his Ragavan. But he still gets treasures. That still hurts. Alright, so crack this. Grab the Triome. Untapped. Okay, so he looked at what we're drawing. Oh my god, a planes. Pass the turn. <sighs> That's not good. I really wanted a tri builder. <laughs> that would have been the better draw for sure. Um Yeah. I'm only running this because it gets back a Sun Titan and then you get sack it.
I mean, that's up to you if you want to counter this. I mean, that's kind of a waste. We're not really a Titan. You know, Titan shift variant where we have we have Valakut. So, sure. I mean, he's basically just an extra ramp spell. He's not the most suppressive creature. So, I really probably should have just Omen to the Hunt. Probably the better choice that is because his instep we could have beat maybe eaten a counter so we could have actually done something on our turn. Um, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what actually happens here. Um, Okay, that was actually castable, but not a very good one at that. Cracks it. Do you have a planes? I don't think you, you you cast it. Like you, do you actually? Can you even get a planes with that? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it was a waste. All right, so we play windswept teeth. Crack the windswept teeth. We need to grab a Vista Green White White Rallier. We're amplifying. Get back a windswept teeth. Crack the windswept teeth. Grab the planes. Skur Tribe Elder. Pass the turn. So, not too bad. We have we have a way to trade with Ragabond. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure, he bolts the rallier. Can you deal with the Skur Tribe Elder? Ah, oh, come on. Crack the Tribe Elder, I guess. Get a Plains. <sighs> so much removal in Murktides and Murktide. <sighs> I guess. So we take four down to five. Day of Judgment. Ouch. Ouch. We needed that this turn. Watch. Prime time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pass the turn. Expressive iteration. That's fine. Wait, does that mean he has Delir- he has Delirium. Yeah, he does. He has a Sorcery now. That should mean Delirium's online. So he could hit us for three in the air. We need to do something this turn. I don't know what we could do, to be honest. Um... We need- we need life gain. 
We need him actually, because the backside is like like that is. But then again, we have a lot of six sixes, so maybe it's he's mainly in here just to. Okay, yeah, you got it. Sure, Merktide. Ew. All right, so. Probably bring those in, maybe bring in that. We could probably go down the wall. And maybe a Sun Titan. We can go up Endurance. For Dryad. And actually, we can go down Omen for and keep that Titan. Go down Omen up a wall. And that go up a wall. So we kind of lose, you're kind of reducing our curve a little bit by dropping some three drops or two drops. Um, and then bring in another day of judgment. So hopefully it balances out. All right, we have not seen Courser yet so we will try this i don't know how well this is going to work out though so this farm hand should help us make sure we can keep hitting land drops courser can make us gain enough some life to get back from a ragavan hit so that's relevant and he has a big butt so I think I just played the tap land. Yeah. I don't really see a need of dropping down anything other than that. So. Rockavon. Farmhand. Grab a planes. Pass the turn. So this will trade with a Ragavan. See if he has a lightning bolt. If he wastes on a farm hand, that's pretty good for us, actually. No attacks. Sweet. Okay. We will play. Ugh. I just realized we we, did, we made ourselves in a way that we don't have double green. Uh, maybe, maybe Corsair is a lot harder to pull off in this deck. Pass the turn. So I definitely should have played that Canopy Vista of this turn. That way we would have the green source next turn. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. Double green. Man. Expressive iteration of the opponent. Okay, can you just explode in one turn? That's what I want to know. Can you just magically turn on Delirium this turn and smash us for three? Otherwise, I think we're pulling ahead. So, okay, Ragavan. <coughs> Take it. A wall of omens. So you don't get to use that Ragavan. I mean, we would have traded. It would have basically did nothing. <coughs> See what he does. We will try Belter. Lantern. <laughs> okay, he wants to counter that. <laughs> Pass. 
past the turn. Whew, now we can get a forest, maybe? And play this courser? Hmm. Another Ragavan into the bin. So we're getting to the point where we did with this monkey. He got none left. So his threats are going down. At least when it comes to Ragavans. Now this tribe elder is a prop. I mean this dragon rage kind of law is an issue. But at least right now it's not. Ugh. So we're definitely not trading, right? Because Titan is inbound next turn. Okay, he bolts the farmhand. That's fine. Do you attack? Sure, we will block and sack. Grab a planes. Pass the turn. One, one, two, three, four. Prime time. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, pass the turn. Prime time coming down against Murktide. Is that enough? We'll find out in a second. Expressive iteration, desperately digging for that unholy heat and a way to turn on that Dragon Rage channel. Because uh, without the, being able to turn on Delirium, he can't deal effectively with the Primeval Titan. He needs a bobble in the bin. <clears throat> Play the land. Cracks it. Okay. Delirium online. I had no idea that he had Delirium with it. He just needed a, a land. Kind of weird, actually. Okay, so Unholy Heat. The most busted card printed. It should have was a huge mistake. It should not be a one mana, six damage to target thing. That should not have been a thing. Hits us down to ten. The stupid monkey. Day of judgment. We kind of wanted that. We untap. Get back prime time. Thought you could deal with my prime time. He keeps coming back. We get two em we get two Emirias. <clears throat> we get Emiria Emiria. Green. White. Corsair crew fix. <clears throat> Counter spell, but we don't gain life. Sure. Yep. This seems good. Counters that. We play Ghost Quarter. What are we doing with this turn? We have something that we can do with this. I, I don't really think so. I really wanted that to resolve to gain a uh, life or two, because I could have popped something of ours with this ghost quarter. Um like ghost quarter. Pass the turn. <clears throat> and 
Okay, what does he got now? We have to be running low on lands, right? Consider desperately digging for an unholy heat. Because if he had one, he would have led with it. Let's be real here. But it's okay. We can get this one, I think. Theron Vision, still digging. We need to top deck something. Oh, wait. The Emeria gets through the counter spell. It gets through the counter spell. So we can start gaining some life. This ghost quarter is going to come into handy. Because we get this back. We get to pop one of our other lands, search for a land, and try to gain enough life to stabilize. What is the opponent going to do? Goes to the combat, hits us. Yes, you have to hit us. Yeah, down to seven. Can you beat us? You have to beat us, I think, this turn. Ugh, that or playing Murktide. Anything else I don't think is going to be good enough. Sure. Taps. Taps. Murktide. Murktide. Is that enough? 8-8. Eight, eight. In the air. Okay, we need to get we need to draw endurance. Get back that. Get back tribe elder. Get back. <laughs> oh wow, I don't I did not mean to tick target him twice, but that's fine. Then the deck. <laughs> oh, wow. Prime time. Prime time on the top. <coughs> okay. So, what are we doing? Playing the windswept teeth. Gain a life. Prime time. Yes. Then this deck more. And Myria. <coughs> okay. Crack here. Target the one swept teeth. Yes. Get a land. Gain a life. Okay, go to combat. Hit ya. Get Temple Garden. Temple Garden. No. No. Gain some life. Takes it. Past the turn. He has to draw a lightning bolt. <sighs> wow. Can we push it there? I mean, this Corsair Crufix is doing some work. Do you attack with the Ragavod? Transform the farmhand. Because we need to gain life. Unholy heat. The farm hand. Too bad I don't have another uh another land. Uh I guess I yeah, it doesn't matter. Sure. Hits us. Do you have a bolt? Do you have a bolt? We're at two. Ah, uh, 
We were so close. We would have won on our turn. Uh, well. <clears throat> uh, we came so close to winning that game. Hopefully we get in the next matchup and go to one on to the next one. All right, on to the last match of the video. Uh, I guess we definitely tried this one. I think prismatic ending to the bottom. It's gonna be really awkward with this one though. So we turn one and, and oh, we're facing okay hammer time. That's okay. Hammer time is fine, but when when it uh, of course. In fact, then we're dead. In fact, it's just better against big decks in general. Um, but in fact, it's worse against like aggro decks, stuff like that. Where hammer time can go over the top of aggro decks. So that makes it slightly better in that matchup. But full on out aggressiveness uh, against like Tron, Titans, Amy, I mean, uh, in fact, it's just a much worse matchup. It's not even winnable. <laughs> okay. I think I just play Tri-Builder. Pass the turn. Okay, we're facing Hammer Time. This is a tier one deck. Or tier one and a half. It definitely fell off a little bit. Colander complete. <clears throat> I guess it has trample. So there's really no point. We just crack this, I guess. I was going to say we could block and sack it, but that does not really work against a trampler. Now does it? Take our beats. I hate Colander complete. The indestructible clause is the problem. Um, crack that. Triome. Collar. Rallier, I should say. Get back the windswept teeth. Crack it. Get a temple garden tapped. Pass the turn. Two, three, four, five. We got five mana. We just need one more land. We got it. We made it. So we could Courser plus Farmhand, which would guarantee us to get to six. We could also potentially... Try to Sun Titan here. Oh, wow. Yep, that's lethal. Sure. I guess we're not playing Magic today. Okay. Definitely bring in Night of Autumn. Bring in a Day. I don't think he runs actually red cards, so yeah. Uh, prismatic ending seems great. Wall of Omens seems meh at best. Then again, I guess Omen of the Hunt is just a little bit worse. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe that, yeah, definitely. I, mean, I'd be, I Maybe I need to adjust the um, three drops in the list. No land hand. We will keep this. Ship. Ghost. No. Forest to the bottom. Because he does have Ink Moth. 
uh, play a myriad past the turn. So we have won one match. We lost one. So we are one and one. We've lost the first game of this one. I don't know where that leaves us though. Sigarda's aid passes the turn. Play down that. Tribelder, go. Let's try to race to the Sun Titan. Got to get there. <laughs> Everything is is online here. Urza Saga to find the hammer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stoneforge gets a Cauldre complete. I hate the fact that also it just exiles. It'd be one thing, I guess, if it didn't automatically kill the creature in combat. It would be slightly better, but. Okay. Ghost Quarter, pop it, kill that saga. Tribe Elder, go. Here comes the stupid Calder complete. Put it on the Ornithopter. Why? Why? I actually would have just equip, equipped it to the Ornithopter. Okay, there you go. Making sense now. Sack that. Get it, the planes. Take our beats. That's not too bad. Okay. It's not bad at all, actually, because then we get to Night of Autumn. Um. The Ornithopter itself is indestructible. Get rid of the aid. Farmhand. Pass the turn. Give her runes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, can we get there with this? Hmm. No trade. Okay. Sun Titan, I guess. Get back. Him. One, two, three, four, five. And he's six. Pass the turn. All right, so this ambitious farmhand is where all the money on the table is left at.
a gift for what? You have a land that you plop the sand with a stone for, Mystic? <laughs> maybe this deck should have some Flicker Wisp. That's maybe what this deck needs. Yep. <clears throat> Hits us. Crack it. Get a planes. Passes the turn. Okay. Nothing. I guess we could sack that. I have nothing left to grab. Yep. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Were we ended up with a 1 2 record? Is it great? No. Uh, is the deck even competitive? Mm. So that's up for a huge debate. Um, so the deck, as is, I think there needs to be some adjustments for sure. I think Flicker Wisp is a nice add to the deck. Um, so that is something I probably would recommend. Uh, we do have a, some EDB triggers. And we don't really capitalize on it enough. Um, so we have these. This felt... Uh, and then these didn't really feel that great either. So those are probably not cards I would recommend playing in the list um we could definitely devote more slots to some other stuff to ramp up the power of the deck and i do think flicker wisp is a nice uh add right we could add a, a few copies of it um probably three is enough i think that would be not too bad and plus we lost to um, DRC, so it would be kind of nice, I think, to have Flicker Wisp to build a block it. It is a flying body, so that's relevant. Um, we also probably want some life gain. I don't know what, though. Uh, I don't know if that actually matters. We can gain some life. Uh, that doesn't really help us ramp, though. That grabs a forest, or aka a triome slash temple garden. Uh, this could help. It does make... Food tokens to help gain life, stabilize a little bit. 
Maybe he's honestly better than the Corsair crew fix. Just because, I mean, it, it being double green actually was bad in certain matchups. That does make me wonder about Endurance. But Endurance is just too good. I don't think you can not run Endurance. You could run wall blo blossoms or more wall of omens like cards, but that's probably not worth it. Yeah, I don't really see any ramp cards that we could bring keep bringing back. I mean, we we tried our expedition. We've seen it once, I think. Uh, it never really contributed. Yeah, so I think that's probably the, the adjustments that I would make. Um, outside of that, I think that looks pretty solid. Um, I guess you could argue if uh, you should be playing Spirited Companion over the wall. That's I do like the fact that the wall technically does help the farmhand flip. If it was just another 1-1, one, one, you know, it doesn't really contribute to that option with Coven. So, that's probably the reason why I would probably keep him. But, maybe Sanctifier and Vec was just not correct. Maybe that should be just two rest in pieces. Um, because in that one matchup, Merc tied, we definitely would have probably brought it in to slow him down. Uh, we could also try Grazer, but Grazer, we didn't, we have 23 lands, so we're not really heavy on the land count. We also could be playing Veil. Of summer that is that's another possibility but all right so don't forget to uptick that rumble subscribe to the channel do all those free things um, don't forget to look in the description below for the link to my discord channel um, until next time I think this deck is fine I don't I don't think it can compete with the Modern Horizons cards. I mean, we definitely could be playing some more Horizon 2 cards, which honestly is just probably the best set ever printed for Modern, um, just regards to just how much of the cards are just seeing play with Prismatic Ending, Endurance, Solitude. So this deck could pick up Solitude. Um... That is not, a, I guess, a bad target. It's just I wanted to keep things going with Sun Titan. You know, three or mana or less. But I guess one downside is this deck does not run any, really any one drops outside of Prismatic Ending, which is not really a good thing, especially since Modern is a very low mana value um, format. So... Maybe that's something that should be addressed. Um, I think green is probably correct for the secondary color. I mean, even though uh, Supreme Verdict would definitely would have helped against, you know, Murktide. Um, matchup where they play a little bit of creatures that die, but, you know, they have counter back up. So, but overall, I think the deck was, uh, we won a match. So I guess that is a positive thing. Um, especially since, I mean, we are running eight, six drops, which is kind of a lot for modern. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to check out my other series, Monday Pioneer, Tuesday Modern, Wednesday Use Your Submitted List, Thursday Standard, and Friday Historic. I thank you guys so much for helping the channel grow. Uh, 
for upticking the rumble, subscribing to my channel, and joining my Discord. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you. Have a great day.